The ground beneath Naples isn't just moving, it's burning. One minute ago, thermal sensors detected something scientists have never seen before at Campi Flegre. The data streaming from beneath half a million people shows heat signatures that don't match any previous volcanic crisis in recorded history. The numbers are climbing faster than anyone predicted, and the instruments can't explain why. The alarm began quietly. Just after midnight on November 19th, thermal monitoring stations around Naples registered something unprecedented. Ground temperatures spiking to levels that shouldn't exist during what experts have called volcanic unrest. International Space Station satellites had been tracking gradual warming at Solfatara Crater for months, but these new readings showed something different. Temperature increases of 5 to 7 degrees Celsius were appearing in areas where no thermal activity had been detected before. The heat was rising from depths of 3,000 meters, reaching nearly 400 degrees Celsius, temperatures that suggest the massive geothermal system beneath Campi Flegre is fundamentally changing. Dr. Giuseppe Villardo from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics had seen thermal spikes before major earthquakes. Three days before the magnitude 4.4 earthquake that shook Pozzuoli in May 2024, satellites detected a 5-degree temperature jump. The pattern seemed predictable. Heat buildup, pressure release, seismic rupture. But this new thermal signature was spreading beyond any established pattern. The heat wasn't concentrated around known fumaroles or gas vents where tourists once walked safely through Solfatara Crater. Instead, it was emerging beneath residential neighborhoods where families sleep above the caldera floor. Thermal cameras mounted on Italian civil protection helicopters revealed hot spots appearing beneath schools, shopping centers, and apartment blocks built decades ago when scientists believed this area was geologically stable. What made this discovery more alarming was the timing. These thermal readings emerged just as artificial intelligence systems had revealed something else hidden beneath the ancient volcanic system. Fault lines that had been invisible to scientists for decades. The correlation between the new heat sources and these newly discovered fractures suggested a connection that existing geological models couldn't explain. Dr. Francesca Bianco, director of the Vesuvius Observatory, had spent her career studying volcanic thermal patterns. The data arriving from Campi Flegre showed temperature distributions unlike anything in her database of global volcanic systems. We're seeing thermal signatures that suggest deep structural changes in the hydrothermal system she reported to Italian authorities. This isn't just surface heating, that not if you... This is fundamental alterations in how heat and pressure move through the subsurface. But that's only part of the story. The thermal anomalies weren't random. They were following the path of a newly discovered ring-shaped fault system that encircles the entire Campi Flegre caldera like geological scar left by ancient volcanic violence. Artificial intelligence had analyzed over 54,000 earthquakes, four times more than scientists had manually detected, and revealed this hidden structure stretching beneath the densely populated Naples metropolitan area. The AI system, developed by researchers from Stanford University and the Italian National Institute of Geophysics, processed decades of seismic data in ways human analysts never could detecting earthquake patterns invisible to conventional analysis. The ring fault extends around the entire caldera perimeter, created by massive eruptions that occurred 39,000 and 15,000 years ago. These ancient collapses, which ejected hundreds of cubic kilometers of volcanic material, left permanent fractures in the Earth's crust. For millennia, these faults remained dormant, sealed by solidified magma and mineral deposits but the current crisis has reactivated them. Stanford University researchers had already identified the mechanism driving the unrest. A closed geothermal reservoir system lies trapped beneath Pozzuoli, fed by rainwater infiltration and pressurized by volcanic CO2 emissions, reaching 4,000 to 5,000 tons per day, among the highest volcanic gas outputs anywhere on Earth. When this underground pressure cooker seals itself, it creates the cyclic earthquake swarms that have terrorized residents for two decades. But the new thermal data suggests this sealed system is now leaking heat in ways it never has before. Ground deformation measurements show the caldera has risen 148 centimeters since 2005, nearly five feet of vertical movement as magma and pressurized fluids push upward from a reservoir 7.5 kilometers deep. 
since January 2024 alone, the ground has lifted another 29.5 centimeters, accelerating at an average rate of 15 millimeters per month. The relationship between this ground movement and earthquake frequency follows what scientists call a super-exponential pattern. Each centimeter of uplift triggers exponentially more seismic activity than the previous centimeter. Mathematical analysis shows this isn't linear geological stress, it's compound pressure, building on pressure, creating feedback loops that amplify with each cycle. Over 7,550 earthquakes have shaken the region in 2025 including the strongest tremor recorded since the current crisis began, a magnitude 4.6 that struck on June 30th. Most of these earthquakes occur at extremely shallow depths between 2 and 4 kilometers, with the majority concentrated in the first 2 kilometers beneath the surface. This shallow seismic activity means the energy reaches the surface with minimal attenuation, maximizing structural damage to buildings never designed for such repeated stress. Seismic tomography reveals the architecture of the underground magma system. A main reservoir sits at approximately 7.5 to 8 kilometers depth, connected to smaller chambers between 2 and 4 kilometers down. Recent research shows progressive shallowing of the deformation source from 5.9 kilometers in 2007 to 3.9 kilometers in 2023, suggesting magma has risen approximately 2 kilometers closer to the surface over 16 years. Scientists estimate that 0.06 to 0.22 cubic kilometers of magma has migrated from depths greater than 8 kilometers to shallower levels between 3 and 4 kilometers since 2005. While this sounds small compared to the massive ancient eruptions, it represents enormous pressure building in confined spaces directly beneath populated areas. Yet what comes next? could be even worse. October 6, 1538. The last time Campi Flegre erupted, it built an entire mountain in seven days. Locals had felt the ground shaking for months. The coastline around Pozzuoli had risen seven meters, leaving ancient Roman structures high and dry like beached ships. Fishermen found their nets catching only empty water where harbors once sheltered their boats. The thermal springs that Romans had used for centuries suddenly boiled with unprecedented intensity. On September 28th, 20 tremors struck in a single day. Residents fled their homes as cracks split through streets and buildings collapsed. Chroniclers described the sound as the earth crying out in pain. Animals refused to enter certain areas, sensing something humans couldn't yet understand. When Monte Nuovo finally exploded into existence on September 29th, witnesses described a pillar of fire and ash that towered above the Bay of Naples, visible from Rome, 250 kilometers away. The eruption buried the village of Tripergol entirely, houses, churches, olive groves disappearing beneath volcanic debris. 24 people died, their bodies never recovered from the pyroclastic flows that raced across the landscape at hurricane speeds. In just one week, volcanic forces sculpted a cone 123 meters high, where nothing had existed before. The eruption reshaped the coastline so dramatically that ancient maps became useless overnight. Lake Avernus, considered by Romans to be the entrance to the underworld, changed its shoreline permanently. The precursor signs from 1538 mirror today's crisis with unsettling precision. Ground uplift that took centuries then is now happening in decades. The earthquake swarms that terrified 16th century residents have returned with modern intensity. But this time, half a million people live directly in the danger zone where once only scattered fishing villages existed. During the 1982-1984 Brady Seismic Crisis, 40,000 people were evacuated from Pozzuoli as buildings cracked and the ground rose 180 centimeters. Families packed their belongings in panic, many never returning to homes left uninhabitable by seismic damage. The crisis lasted two years, producing approximately 16,000 earthquakes with a maximum magnitude of 4.0. But that episode unfolded more quickly. Ground uplift averaged 60 millimeters per month compared to today's 15 millimeters. The current unrest moves more slowly, but with higher magnitude earthquakes. Five events above magnitude 4.0 have already occurred in 2025, exceeding the maximum earthquake strength from the entire 1980s crisis. Historical records from the 1538 eruption suggest total ground uplift 
of possibly 12 meters accumulated over several centuries before the volcanic explosion. The current caldera has already achieved one-eighth of that movement in just two decades. If the historical pattern holds, the underground pressure system still has enormous potential energy remaining. Geological evidence shows that since the massive Neapolitan yellow tuff eruption 15,000 years ago, more than 70 smaller eruptions have occurred within the caldera. None approach the scale of the ancient super eruptions, but each reshaped local geography and devastated contemporary settlements. And now, scientists fear history may be repeating itself. The evacuation plan for Campi Flegre assumes 72 hours to move 500,000 people. But the new thermal data suggests that timeline may be optimistic. Italian civil protection maintains the region at yellow alert. Medium unrest with no immediate eruption threat. Yet monitoring bulletins released weekly by the Vesuvius Observatory document, a system under escalating stress. Fumarole temperatures at the Pisciarelli area have reached 97 degrees Celsius, approaching the boiling point of water at sea level pressure. CO2 emissions rank among the highest volcanic gas outputs anywhere on Earth, creating hazardous conditions for residents who venture too close to active degassing areas. The European Investment Bank approved 1.4 billion euros in November 2025 for seismic safety upgrades and reconstruction, acknowledging that current infrastructure cannot withstand the seismic stress already documented. Officials estimate 1,150 houses in the red zone face high seismic risk, with another 2,750 at medium risk. The Italian government has allocated an additional 500 million euros specifically for building safety improvements, prioritizing school buildings, where children spend their days above unstable ground. Emergency planners conducted exercise Campi Flegre 2025 on November 5th and 6th, testing coordination systems for mass evacuation. Six meeting areas outside the red zone have been designated for assisted evacuation by bus, train, and ship. Twinning arrangements with other Italian regions would house evacuees if the alert level escalates to red, a scenario that requires complete evacuation of the danger zone within three days. But the newly discovered fault systems converge directly beneath Pozzuoli at shallow depths less than four kilometers deep. AI analysis suggests these intersecting fractures could generate magnitude 5 earthquakes in the most densely populated area of the caldera. Current building codes were not designed for that level of seismic stress, particularly in structures built during Italy's rapid post-war development, when earthquake engineering was primitive. Recent significant earthquakes have already demonstrated the system's destructive potential. The magnitude 4.4 earthquake on May 20, 2024, damaged buildings and forced school closures throughout Pozzuoli. The magnitude 4.6 earthquake on June 30, 2025, triggered landslides and cracked foundations across multiple municipalities. Local train services were suspended during both events as elevated tracks swayed beyond safety tolerances. Thermal monitoring from space shows that major earthquakes are preceded by temperature spikes that appear days to weeks in advance. This pattern suggests the possibility of earthquake prediction, but it also reveals that thermal buildup is becoming more frequent and intense. Temperature anomalies that once preceded single major earthquakes now appear continuously across multiple locations, suggesting the entire hydrothermal system is approaching a critical threshold. The intersection of thermal anomalies with the newly discovered ring fault creates a scenario unprecedented in volcanic monitoring. Heat sources are activating along fracture systems that remained hidden until 2025, suggesting that fundamental changes in the caldera's structure are occurring in real time, because what happens next could rewrite maps. The instruments continue to record data that doesn't fit previous patterns. Thermal anomalies persist in areas where geological models predicted stability. The ring fault pulses with micro-earthquakes at depths where solid rock should resist fracturing and the pressurized geothermal reservoir continues building pressure despite multiple earthquake swarms that should have relieved the stress. Scientists emphasize there are no signs of magma moving toward the surface for imminent eruption. Current seismic signals indicate fluid movement and pressure changes consistent with hydrothermal processes rather than rising molten rock. Gas composition analysis shows elevated CO2 and sulfur compounds, typical of heated groundwater systems, not the chemical signatures associated with fresh magma ascent. Experts suggest any future eruption would likely resemble the 1538 Monte Nuovo event, 
a small to moderate explosive eruption rather than a catastrophic caldera collapse. Such an eruption would affect only a limited area within the caldera, potentially causing several hundred casualties and significant economic disruption, but not the regional devastation associated with the ancient super eruptions. Yet Stanford researchers warn that if pressure continues building in the sealed hydrothermal system, the risk of steam-driven phreatic eruptions could increase. These explosive releases of superheated water and gas can occur with little warning and devastating local impact. Unlike magmatic eruptions that build pressure over months or years, phreatic explosions can trigger within hours when underground water suddenly flashes to steam. The relationship between ground deformation and earthquake frequency has shown an increasing exponential correlation over time. Mathematical modeling suggests this pattern indicates quasi-elastic crustal behavior with stress memory effects, meaning each earthquake cycle leaves the rock more fractured and vulnerable to the next pressure increase. If current trends continue, analysis suggests progressive mechanical weakening of the upper crust and the potential for significant seismic events that could affect infrastructure and evacuation capabilities. Most unsettling is what the data cannot explain. The thermal patterns emerging from beneath Naples follow geological structures that remained hidden until artificial intelligence revealed them in 2025. The heat signatures don't match any previous volcanic crisis because this combination of deep thermal sources, pressurized reservoirs, and intersecting fault systems has never been observed in real time at any volcano worldwide. Conventional volcanic monitoring focuses on detecting magma movement toward the surface. But Campi Flagre appears to be creating a new category of volcanic crisis, one driven by hydrothermal pressure rather than magmatic intrusion. Following fault patterns invisible to traditional analysis, generating thermal signatures that exist in no database of volcanic behavior. The AI systems that revealed the hidden ring fault continue processing seismic data, detecting micro-earthquake swarms too small for human analysts to recognize. These algorithms suggest additional fault structures may exist, potentially connecting Campi Flegre's volcanic system to regional earthquake zones across southern Italy. If correct, the current crisis may represent only the visible portion of a much larger geological instability. Monitoring systems designed to detect traditional eruption precursors may be inadequate for understanding a crisis that seems to be writing its own rules. The ground beneath half a million people continues to rise, crack, and heat, following patterns that exist in no textbook and match no historical precedent. The thermal data streams in continuously now, each reading confirming that something fundamental is changing beneath Naples. The heat sources grow stronger, the fault systems pulse with increasing frequency, and the pressurized reservoir beneath Pozzuoli builds toward a threshold that no scientist can define because no scientist has seen this combination of geological forces before. Stay safe, stay curious, and keep your eyes on the earth.